So um, a very good evening to all of you. We are back again with another successful career story. And we have with us Akanksha Sinha, who has been a part of the PGP data science course from IIT Guwahati. And uh, is here with us to share her experience and her wisdom and her story about her career transition. Thank you so much, Akanksha, for doing this and being a part of this call with us. We value your time. So uh, let's quickly start by uh, telling us something about yourself. Over to you, Akanksha. Thank you so much, Samya. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Adhika. Thank you, IIT Guwahati, for giving me this opportunity. So, hi everyone. My name is Akansha. I have graduated in computer science engineering in 2016 from BTU Bangalore. Prior to which, I joined X company as a business analyst. So, recently, my job role there was, you know, uh, to convert the DRS to SRS, that is, a business requirement specification to software requirement specification. So yeah, you know, uh, as a pressure, you would definitely want to work on that domain. You would want to get into industry, but you know, once you are into the industry, you realize that no, this alone is not sufficient for you to move ahead in the hierarchy. You would want to, you know, add on new skill sets, new technologies. So it was there, you know, where I think one of the counselors from Edwin, you know, asked me if I'm looking out for, you know, better opportunities in my career, career transition. And I did a thorough research on Edureka. I saw the review was pretty good. It was, I think, 4.4 was the review of Edureka. And Edureka is very diverse in terms of certifications they offer. So I thought, yeah, this can be a good platform. And, you know, adding to that, uh, study on the cake was IIT Goa Hathi. Because uh, when I saw that, you know, this is uh, in collaboration with IIT Goa Hathi, you're getting this certified from IIT Goa Hathi. You have a couple of IIT Goa Hathi instructors of Office giving you this video uh, in the initial start, in the initial phase. So this was something good. And apart from that, you know, I even got a scholarship of one lakh, you know, uh, post all our exams. And, you know, we had APTI, we had COAS, and I think we even had a face-to-face -face discussion and telephonic discussion. Prior to which I got a scholarship of one lakh. So that was, that was very helpful for me. And I thought, yeah, this will be best platform for me for career transition. So, yeah, that's how, you know, I, I started it. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much and thanks a lot for your kind words. So Akanksha, uh, let's just try to understand a couple of more things. Just very, very uh, curious to know more about your thoughts. So um, what was your growth plan? So when we talk about a career transition, we definitely have a trail of thoughts in our mind, which uh, helps us understand where I want to be and where I am, correct? So what was your growth plan? Did you plan it in a way that you're going to do a course and then upskill yourself and then move on to another job? Or you were looking for another job parallelly? What was your plan? No, I wasn't looking for other jobs parallelly. See, uh, you know, when, when you're into IT, I mean, you know, be, uh, living in a city like Bangalore where every third person is a software engineer, I wanted right. to, you know, be remarkably different from others. And if I have to talk about data science, you know, people as Java developers, full stack developers, uh, Magento developer, but data science, machine learning is a super niche skill, okay? Machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence, uh, data warehouse, these are all niche skills. So I wanted to be in that, you know, one person population. Not everyone is a machine learning engineer, not everyone is an AI engineer. So I wanted to be in a niche skill. That was one thing. And the second thing was, you know, obviously, um, my, uh, I wasn't getting that great hike. I wasn't getting that great hike. You know, if you're an ML engineer, if you're a DM engineer, the minimum hike you get is 100 to 200 percent, which is not with other technologies or other skill sets. So that was one thing. And apart from that, I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to grow in my hierarchy. And I always wanted to see myself you know, in three to five years as a software architect. And software architect is the backbone of any software project or, you know, any project that you do, it is the software architect who is the backbone, who, who is the real architect. So I see myself there in coming three to five years. And apart from that, you know, since I have got exposure to Edirica and IIT Guwahati to data science, I plan my integrated uh, and take a PhD in the coming okay. two years. That's, that's really nice. I think uh, it's very, very uh, fortunate for me and for others who are listening and watching this video uh, to meet somebody so ambitious like you. Your growth plans do not just 
showcase a standard way of okay i want to be somewhere i want to get a better salary it's more towards what i want to be in particular like i want to be a machine learning engineer i want to do this i want to earn certain amount of money and i think that's the best way of planning your growth plans of course there can be many other right and there is no end to it but i definitely uh, want to appreciate your um, thought process here so um, kamcha tell us something about the primary skills that you thought you wanted to learn through this course that can help you get onto a job right not not only the technical skills but tell us something about your um, thought process tell us something about your approach towards a job opening how you used to manage that okay so you know uh, my confidence was boosted and uh, like you said you know apart from technical skills like uh, machine learning or artificial intelligence or uh, deep learning my communication skills was boosted and we had uh, i think many counseling sessions as well with the uh, instructors of edureka who reached out to us who, who told us how to prepare for the interview uh, where we can get stuff where we can go ahead what will be good for us uh, you know uh, how do you take it ahead what should i focus on if i have got this half an hour time how is the time management how should i manage so that was one thing you know time management management was something uh, i learned here otherwise i used to waste at least 10 minutes of you know getting stuck in one question answering but then one of the instructors from edureka was like no don't do that you're getting stuck here that question is meant to you know keep you stuck just shut that out and move to the next question so that was one thing i learned apart from that we had a lot of you know uh, group discussions we had we had people from different domain uh, with different expertise coming and pouring in their thoughts their experience so i got the, it was a learning curve for me it was a open platform so i i i learned lots of things lots of new technologies lots of things and uh, we had lots of project exposure as well with federica so yeah so uh, yeah of course thank you thank you so much i think uh, this is very very important for all those people especially people who are just you know starting off with their journey time management is everything right and what you rightly said that there are challenges in life not only in your course or in your, in your job in your regular life where problems will make you get stuck in a position you have to find out a way to probably ignore it move forward find a better smart solution right so your thought process is more towards um smart work and not hard work is what i understand right thank you so much for saying that akanksha one last question so uh, one small tip to our uh, aspiring engineers who are looking forward to upskill their talent and are looking forward to be a part of this humongous industry which we are currently you know uh, talking about what should they do how should they plan and what is it that they do should not do right that is more important here yeah right so uh, first of all guys you know something which is very important here is you need to understand what your passion is do your research you know your parents will tell you your elders will tell you your sister but the teacher several will tell you become a doctor become an engineer become this but one thing i want to say here to everyone is do your own research do your thorough research understand what you want to be and whatever you do you should be passionate it shouldn't be like yeah i have to work for eight hours i have to work for 10 hours no if you are passionate about something if you are focused about something if you are disciplined about something you will wake up even at 2 am and do that until you finish that you know so that is right, so one thing yeah you, you have to be passionate about it the second thing Expose yourself to the different, to your surroundings, to the different environments, new technologies, new skill sets. You know, coming up with, like for example, what I know now, it's not necessary to exist in the coming five years. Okay, next five years it won't be Python. Ten years back, if I jump in now, it is Python. I know another five to ten years will be something else. Google is coming up with their own programming language. Tesla is coming with their own. In fact, Tesla is even into manufacturing. I think human chips. They, they they have started you know their uh, lab experimentation with uh, every four to five years you're coming up with new technologies so have thorough exposure about that be focused be disciplined be passionate and understand where you have to go in the hierarchy don't you know just 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 follow people understand where you have to be what you want and how you plan your future and how it's going to affect you what its consequences will be. and if you have any doubt you can reach out to you know um, you can reach out to the counselors of edureka or any other platform in generic you know you can just give them a call 
you you can discuss with them your career plans your career path how you want to take it ahead right 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 very wise very wise and uh, of course i think uh, this is the best way to probably understand and plan your way forward uh thank you so much for doing this akanksha and uh, it was a pleasant conversation we would want to connect with you again and want to hear a lot from you but uh, this is something very very precious to us thank you so much again and we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors and we hope that your learning journey continues thank you thank you so much samya thank you adhureka thank you iit goa happy for giving me the support thank you so much stay in touch thanks a lot